ever since I was a child, I can remember drawing pictures of mountains that met the water. That's like people have recurring dreams, all this stuff. My recurring imagery as a child was just drawing mountains that, you know, boats and the water was right there. This is that. This is like, we've got mountains over here that are literally feet from the water. We've got beautiful beaches over here. We've got great people. It's just epic. What else could you ask for? Nothing. Maybe a margarita. <laughs> and we've got that. We have that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Simon from Sailing Britikin and we help people become more confident sailing cruisers. The reason I came out here was I wanted to make sure reality matched my dream of what it was. And it's, I hadn't considered how just boat maintenance labor intensive it is. I took a DE course in Jacksonville. I loved it. It was incredibly exhilarating, like feel how the water moves you and how the wind moves you and how you can control. And we were taught some racing in that course, which was amazing. And then I always had a desire, but never made the time to continue that. I took a course last year up in Seattle for sailing. That class got cut short and I, I didn't make time to get out on a boat again until a few months ago, I saw a video posted by my friend Enrique, who I did circus training with in Seattle. And uh, I saw he was out here volunteering on this beautiful boat. And I was like, that is the life. This is, sailing is something I've always wanted to do. Harnessing the wind, learning how to use it in your favor and how it can hurt you. Um, and seeing Enrique out here and just like kind of the experience that he was having, um, I was like, this, that's, I need to find out more about that. I didn't know Simon from anyone. I didn't know anything about big boat sailing. Everything I did was, was, was small, tiny. So I was terrified, but I, I sent a message to Simon and he about an hour later called me back and, and uh, here I am. Simon is hilarious. <laughs> Simon is an excellent teacher. He's very patient. Um, he teaching practical, useful knowledge is is what he is really good at. It's you know not necessarily he's not going over a book with you. Like I said, I have very limited experience. I have the one course and the you know the part of another course and no experience just playing with a boat out on my own don't let that intimidate you like he's out here for your safety first he's out here to teach you practical useful knowledge and it's all learning flexible is, is a requirement yeah and everything is is not going to go as planned always because you're part of the environment the weather the winds the the water things are shifting yesterday we were fixing a, a deck wash pump down in the hole of the vessel. 20 minute job turned into an hour and a half. Yes, it did. And we got it done. She got done. <laughs> the reason I came out here was I wanted to make sure reality matched my dream of what it was. And yeah. my dream did not match reality because I hadn't thought of the actual boat maintenance. It's not just all about the wind in your hair and it's not just about the, the sailing. Because if, if you haven't maint maintained your boat, it's not going to sail. You've got to be able to think on your feet. You've got to be able to understand what the boat's doing, maybe how to fix it if necessary, or acquire the help to fix it. Do you think you'll do a liveaboard at some point in your life? Yes, yes I do. If you like community in general, then it's this is a definitely a good place to be. It's I haven't met a single person out here that is anything but nice and pleasant and helpful. Everyone's super interesting um, to talk to. They're all just, you know, they will, they'll share, share the tribal knowledge with you. Um, you meet people from all over the world, and I, I grew up internationally, so that's awesome for me because it, it makes me feel more at home when I'm not just around, you know, one culture all the time. I like being around 
many different people from different walks of life. It just, it makes it all interesting. I should have done this years ago. You're never gonna gain more confidence by just sitting and wishing. Do it. Stop making excuses and just do it. Oh, we caught it!